Hello, my name is Jide Alakija. I am the principal photographer of Alakija Studios based in Brooklyn, New York. So today I'm going to talk to you about five quick tips on how to create presets in Lightroom. All right, so if you're going to create a preset for skin tones, always focus first of all on the orange channel. Always ask yourself whether you want your orange skin tones or your skin tones rather to be dark or light relative to the other subjects. Think about complementary colors and think about what other colors will compete and um, improve the skin tones that you're trying to create. So for instance, orange's complementary color is blue. So think about how the blue is going to respond to whenever you see the orange either whether you want the blue to be saturated, lighter, darker, or less so. The second tip I always recommend is to create a preset um, add-on for vignetting. And the reason why I say it's worth doing that is it's always nice to vignette your photos so you can focus in on the center of the photograph. Sometimes the lenses come with a vignette, but um, it's always nice when you can also create a preset um, to kind of focus in on different parts and you can do this using the radial tool. Third preset could be a black and white preset and the tip for that is focus on the red channel because that is the channel that generally tackles the skin and also the orange. Vary that plus or minus to how bright or dark you want your skin tones to be. If you generally tend to photograph dark-skinned people, then you want to push that as bright as you want as possible. If you generally photograph a lot of light-skinned people, then you want to do the converse. And this will help you when you're creating a black and white preset for indoor or outdoor photography. The fourth tip is noise reduction. Most cameras today uh, have very, very dense uh, pixels on their sensors. And therefore, the noise that you actually see doesn't really present itself on the overall image. But sometimes you want to reduce the noise so it doesn't look horrible. And in my case, I generally tend to push my noise reduction a bit up from the standard noise reduction setting in Lightroom. So you might want to include that into your preset. The fifth tip, whenever you're creating your presets, always include the tone curve and play around with the different channels in the tone curve so you can get different color responses to how you want the different colors to respond. So playing around with not just contrast but playing with the blue channel, the red channel and the cyan channel, you can create different uh, impressions of uh, color in skin tones, in highlights, in shadows and in midtones. tones